Bonjour, I'm Vivian, and welcome to the beautiful Loire Valley of France, home to the world's most spectacular fairy tale castles. It is also the location of my home, a small neo Renaissance chateau, which I share with my husband Simon, daughter Isabella, and our delightful pets. However, this is not our first chateau. For 17 years, we lovingly restored and adored a much larger castle until we decided to downsize. Now we're doing it all again, just on a smaller scale. So join us for some chateau fun, chateau life, chateau renovations, chateau travel, chateau food, and chateau love. Welcome back everyone. Today's a very exciting day for me because my oldest friend, not my oldest in age, my oldest in friendship, <laughs> friend from grade school, we have been friends for I think 40 years, is coming to visit. She's hopped on the first plane that she could out of New York. She lives in New York now, but she's originally from Memphis like me. And she is on her way here at this very moment. It is uh, about seven o'clock in the morning. I'm getting her room ready. I should have gotten this done yesterday, but I decided to make her a last minute gift. Her style is completely different to mine. So her style is very funky. She loves contemporary art. She loves really bold colors. Her favorite color is orange. And so I found this incredible fabric that I made her some cushion covers that she can take home with her when she goes back. I was up really late last night sewing them. So here's the fabric that I'm going to use for Sally's pillow. It is wonderfully bright and colorful and has the magnificent Frida Kahlo all over it, which is just gorgeous. And I think she's just absolutely going to love it. She's gonna be our first house guest since Christmas of 2019. So for so many reasons, this is just gonna be a wonderful experience, but watch this. So she's gonna come in and when she turns the sheet down, there they are. Palm trees, exotic birds. And I found this wonderful, almost marmalade color velvet trim which i think sally is going to love so it's really fun to do things in a different decorative style than what i'm used to and she'll be the first to sleep in the bed that simon made and if you want to see how he made that that was episode two and it's always fun to give somebody something that you've made. Um, Sally's also one of these girls that loves Etsy and everything being original and authentic. And so it's going to be super. And she's going to be here in just a few minutes. Now I'm going to go do some flowers for her room. I've got 15 minutes. My Cineraria has been going crazy and I need to cut it back anyway. So I think that these little yellow flowers will be beautiful in Sally's bouquet. And look at the climbing roses and the marguerites. Everything's doing beautifully. Unfortunately, however, with the relentless rains and storms that we've had, the roses have taken a beating, but I think that I can salvage a few for Sally's bouquet. This one in particular is gorgeous. Here we go, aren't they lovely? I hope she likes them. And look, some of the colors are just extraordinary in this year's roses. They've had more than enough rain, <laughs> too much rain, but I think she'll be pleased. And now I've got to hurry because I'm off to the train. Oh, and if you guys are wondering who this little guy is, this is Simon's Teddy from when he was a child. We rescued him from our moving boxes. He needs a good clean. Isn't he sweet though? He's a little cockeyed. <laughs> You may be wondering why I've got a letter opener on top 
of these books. I love to leave books in the rooms for my friends. A little bit of poetry, stories. Oh, look at the beautiful lithographs inside. I'm so glad this book hasn't been torn apart. Oh, this one was published in Philadelphia. Balzac in Philadelphia. And this is a limited copy of 1,250 sets. Copyright 1901. And the pages, many of which you see, still have not yet been properly opened. Hence, the letter opener. After a very teary welcome, we only have five days together, so we have hit the ground running off to my favorite brocante, just outside of Tours. There are so many things to choose from, and I always find a treasure here. But will Sally find something? Mmm, that mirror has potential. And Sally has spotted this 18th century side table. Beautiful. Ooh, gorgeous chandelier. Okay, here's a tapestry that is very medieval, not particularly valuable, but an awful lot of fun. Or maybe it is valuable, who knows? What do you think, Sally? I Shall I do it? it? I think it has to be done. Yes, we're gonna do it. Okay. And Sally is purchasing the side table, but how will she get it home? We only have three days left together, so we have decided to go on a girl's trip to an exquisite chateau located right near Charles de Gaulle Airport. And there's the trusty table. I wonder if the airline will be agreeable about letting her take it on the plane. We're gonna make it, Sally, with this table. <laughs> we it's are the we are not geniuses. It's the pinata table. <laughs> A short taxi ride later, and we are arriving at our beautiful destination. Yes. Sally and I have just arrived at the magnificent Chateau de Menonville, located just 40 kilometers outside of Paris and only 20 kilometers from the Charles de Gaulle Airport, where Sally very sadly has to leave me in a couple of days to go back to New York. But meanwhile, we just got here, and we are going to make the most of this incredible place and the late sunset. We have a few hours ahead of us. A moat, a beautiful castle, a lovely village, and we're gonna go uh, get into some trouble. Yes, yes please. <laughs> We've just schlepped up the stairs with the wonderful table. Yes. And found ourselves in this beautiful hallway with the door to our room. <laughs> Hey, voila! I think this is going to be a very good stay. And this is one of the budget rooms. Yes. So this is the back of the chateau. We're looking over the Jean-Jacques Rousseau Park. And there's a wonderful moat and a terrace down there where I think we're going to head immediately to get a drink. Sally's unpacking her clothes and she has the most beautiful collection, as you can see, on her beautiful body <laughs> of linen. I mean, look at this. It has tassels that are worthy of something from the 18th century. I'm just, I just have to admire you and your beautiful wardrobe, Sally. And there's our view. We open the windows. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> It does look like a painting and we're we have just been served our first champagne and our girls weekend has begun. Here is to you, my dear friend. And back to you. <laughs> Cheers. And to you. <laughs> The Chateau de Mononville is of great historical importance. Over a thousand years old, it has played host to kings such as Louis XI, Henry IV, and is even where Henry IV kept his mistress.
you You've made a friend. <laughs> he is a lovely chap. Don't you need to find your friends? Are they in the moat? You should join them. You look lonely. Yes, it is a lovely chateau. I think he's standing guard. Some swallows have made their nests above these wonderful carvings. I wonder if they'll fly out for us. You can see them poking out their little heads, waiting for some food. This is so weird. So right outside our window, somebody has set up some flashing drones and we don't know why. Are they gonna fly? Are they just sitting there flashing? What is going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> this is how we amuse ourselves. What is going to happen? <laughs> this is how we're amusing ourselves in our chateau room in the middle of the nowhere. <laughs> Looking out over a moat. Oh, there's lights. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. yeah, That's where we were just sitting, right down there. Uh -huh. So we literally moved from that table there up into this room here. The reflection of the water is gorgeous. It's beautiful. We have some funny ideas about entertainment tonight, don't we? Yes. It's kind of fun, though. <laughs> So Sally's wondering if these guys are trying to signal to the UFOs. I'm not really <laughs> wondering that. <laughs> this has got to be one of the weirdest, quirkiest things I've ever experienced when staying at a chateau. <laughs> and believe it or not, it is 1038 at night and the sun still has not completely set. Remember when disco floors used to light up? Uh-huh. That kind of reminds me of that. I wonder what people would think if we went out there and started dancing in the middle of that field. I think they would think, what's wrong with those two old ladies? <laughs> we are having the most fun, bizarre night ever. <laughs> oh, somebody's popping champagne down there. Is that what that sound is? That's what that sound is. We're just leaning out sure? of our window, spying on UFOs and romantic couples popping champagne. That's what that was. Sally, if I know there anything. Were two champagne bottles. Yeah. Two pots. If I know anything, I know the sound of pop and cork. Okay. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> really happy we can share it with you. It would be very hard to try to explain this afterwards. And they're doing it. Look at that. Just for us. We were wondering what was going to happen, and it turned out it was going to be a heart-shaped UFO, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> we got our UFO after all. And look at the reflection in the moat. Isn't that beautiful? The magic spell you cast This is la vie en rose When you kiss me have the pleasure of speaking to Inza. Well, tell us about what you do here okay. at the Chateau. I'm here organizing all the meetings, uh -huh. all the weddings, all the events, the little history of the castle. Yes. 
So yes, it was built in 987. Wow. Yes. And uh, so over a thousand years old. Yeah. That's incredible. Isn't it? <laughs> So the castle knows like many, many passages of historian. Uh, the Marquis de Girardin was the owner, one of the owner of the castle. Mm -hmm. um, he was inspired by the ideas of Jean-Jacques Rousseau, yes. who lived here also for six weeks and died here in this city. Incredible. Yes. And uh, after that, we had the Prince Radziville, yes. Ettore Bugatti, the, the, the famous uh, promoter and uh, founder of the automotive industry. Yes. So we have our biggest salon called the Salon Radziville, who was the garage of Bugatti. Like, Incredible. So there's a lot of interesting connection between cars, history, yeah. aristocracy, <laughs> and obviously a lot of beauty. When you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart. We are arriving at the most adorable little restaurant around the corner from our hotel. This restaurant has converted its entire garden into a massive pond and rockery. What a brilliant idea. A world where roses bloom And when you speak Angels sing from So Vivian, what are we having for lunch? We are having a puff pastry parcel of whitefish and scallops and it actually looks really delicious. There are some julienne vegetables in there too so I think this is going to be really good. good? Absolutely lovely. Perfect. Ah. Apparently we're not the only ones that are after the fish in this restaurant. And I thought only Pavlova begged at the table. <laughs> Every day words seem to turn into love songs Give your heart and soul to me And life will always be la vie en rose. We're in the village of Emmerononville and it's absolutely adorable. Look at these cute little cottages. A salon du thé. I wonder what time they open. That could be something fun to do this afternoon. As with almost every French village, there are beautiful cottages and a lovely old church. This one was built in 1170. As we walk around the side, it's not nearly as ornate as the front and rear facades, but really beautiful in its simplicity with the towers. Four towers in total, and we all know how I love a chateau tower. We've come around to the rear of the moat, the magnificent rear facade facing gorgeous park where we sat and had our aperitif last night. There's the terrace where we sat and our room just above the terrace on the right hand side. I've got my eye on those little boats straight ahead. Would you join me for a romantic row around the moat? <laughs> I think that's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sally and I are walking towards a crazy adventure. We found out that there are dinosaurs in the park of this chateau. Now, of course, <laughs> this will be the first chateau I've ever stayed at ever. And I've been to a lot of chateaux that has dinosaurs. We can't resist. We have got to find out what the Dickens is going on. Clearly. <laughs> And there are children walking towards us. So hopefully these are not children eating dinosaurs. Or dinosaur eating children. <laughs> well, they, do look, they do look rather full. <laughs> As promised, a dinosaur. Oh, and it's moving. It's very ferocious. Are you ticklish? 
How is it going like this? <laughs> Did he just do something naughty? <laughs> oh, Mr. Dinosaur, you're very fresh. He's called a Rajasaurus. I'm not familiar with a Rajasaurus. Very striking red eyes. Oh, how do you do? So here we have the Velociraptor. I wouldn't. Pterosaur. Hello. I think she wants us to stay away from her babies. Oh, zero. And in the most extraordinary juxtaposition of chateau and dinosaur theme park, we have this beautiful pergola with a bathing nymph underneath. and a couple of dinosaur eggs with another type of nymph inside. <laughs> How weird and wonderful. Again, I'm, I thought I was up on my dinosaurs and I feel like I've got a lot to learn. Brachiosaurus. Hello, Brachiosaurus. It does have a very beautiful park. Now with dinosaurs. <laughs> so really, that's actually a really nice thing for, for families. Yes. You can come with your friends or parents. Yes. Your children, yes. So, yeah. or, your, or your best friend from New York. Yes. Oh, <laughs> we had a really good time with the dinosaurs also. <laughs> <laughs> the new owner, Tony Haswani, in his previous incarnation, before he was the Chatelain of the Chateau de Molonville, was a, a famous promoter of the many famous performing artists. And so now it's very interesting because one thing that makes this chateau unusual compared to other chateaux is that they're bringing these interesting performances that are happening. He likes it. <laughs> oh, I agree. Oh, Sally, <laughs> how very daring you are. We're going to sit and have a lovely girly chat beside the boat on the back of the beautiful Chateau de Monodville. <laughs> And this, I believe, is the main attraction of this beautiful Chateau Hotel. What a fairy tale location for a wedding where one has to put up people in 50 bedrooms. And while we've been here, it's been really interesting because, of course, everything is just sort of reopening after the pandemic. And there's a massive wedding about to take place. It's been actually interesting watching all of the staff setting up for the wedding. And we actually saw the bride yesterday, which was lovely. <laughs> and I can imagine this is a very magical place, yes. uh, especially for the photographs, to be married. And you have how many guest rooms? Uh, we have 50 guest 50 rooms. 50 guest yes. rooms. So that's, so you can accommodate theoretically a wedding for 100 people to yeah. stay here. Yeah, 110, exactly. Wow, 110 people to yeah. stay here. So this is, this is a big chateau experience. Um, there are lots of other beautiful smaller chateaux, which some of you know about already, I featured, and, and um, some of the other vloggers also have smaller chateau and, and uh, bed and breakfast small wedding experiences or small event experiences, but this is a, this is a much bigger scale and is also only 40 kilometers from Paris yes. and 20 kilometers from the airport, which makes it interesting, yes. I think, yes. um, geographically as well, because we really do feel like we're deep inside the countryside here. There's a tiny village, yes. and but we are very close to Paris. Yes, 40 minutes from Paris. Incredible, yes. incredible. <laughs>
Curiosity peak too. Ooh, la, la. Got some beautiful red silk on the walls. And oh, a tented ceiling. I'm so glad we came in here. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. Look at this. Someone appears to have set off a fire alarm. This is painted porcelain. Isn't that beautiful? What's that? What do you see? These cabinets. Aren't they lovely? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do really love that ceiling. Silk on the ceiling, silk on the walls, and toile de jouy on the curtains. When you speak, angels sing from above. Everyday words seem to turn into love songs. Sally has truffle ravioli with a beautiful pansy on top. Beef wellington, which looks beautiful. And I'm having tuna tataki. Give your heart and soul to me And life will always be la vie oh. This time you were telling us we are in the original kitchens and I love kitchen, chateau kitchens. Usually they're in the basements. Yeah. And this one's not in the basement and so it has very tall ceilings and beautiful hand-painted blue and white tiles, which is stunning. And now you use it, what is it, what are you using it for now? It's a bar. The bar. Well, that's a very good use for a room as well. <laughs> and it's a bar with thrones. So if any of you have ever wanted to drink while sitting in a throne, you have to come here. And um, this, this is a great place too. I'm very comfortable in a throne, I have to say. <laughs> this is a great spot. Yeah. It has been a splendid stay. Thank you to the Chateau de Mononville, but mostly thank you to Sally for coming to see me. One of the greatest things about Charles de Gaulle Airport is that there is a La Durée. It might not be quite as beautifully decorated as the ones in Paris, but it's still adorable, very chic, and has wonderful macarons. I think Simon and Isabella might be very happy if I bring them back some. Here we are in Charles de Gaulle Airport and I don't want to say goodbye to you. Oh, I don't know. This is really hard. We've gone enough time. a year and a half without seeing each other or other friends for that matter because we've all been stuck in a pandemic separated from the people we love and we've been friends for 40 years. Stop. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. We're never truly separate. It's true. So what's it like being friends for 40 years? <laughs> um, it's home. It's home. Yeah. So we have a couple of BFFs crying in Charles de Gaulle Airport. <laughs> 
come back and see me soon. I will. I promise. I love you. I love you. I may not know much, but I do know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much. But, but I know, know I the sound of champagne love popping. You. And the sound of champagne popping. <laughs> <laughs> and that may be all, all I need, need to, to know. know. I think everybody out there heard us. <laughs> and when you speak.